Well, thank you, and thank you for being here, gentlemen. I always love having a discussion about the Constitution. I want to stay right up front, say, state right up front, I am opposed to term limits, and not for any self-serving reason, but because I think they are a bad idea in terms of the future of our republic. I also believe that the intent of the framers must remain a dominant force and should guide, guide the current discussion. The finality of the qualifications clause for congressional members is settled through the text of the Constitution itself. They debated term limits, and some of the framers even supported them in the Articles of Confederation, but after the de debate, they were dropped. That doesn't mean that term limits don't exist. They certainly do, which is why the American people go to the ballot every two years for the members of the U.S. House and every six years to select their U.S. Senators. In addition, legislative supremacy is something the founders clearly established through the long list of enumerated and implied powers granted to Congress as compared to the brevity of powers granted to the President in Article II. What does that mean? that the drafters of our Constitution intended the legislative branch, the one directly elected and accountable to the voters, to be the most robust and strongest of the three branches. And I believe that term limits would not only undermine that intent, but substantially alter our relationship with our elected officials. And again, what do I mean by that? For years, I have been railing against the expansion and growth of the administrative state those unelected bureaucrats who have taken on the role of legislating in violation of the separation of powers provisions in our Constitution. The annual regulatory burden in this country is $2.1 trillion. That is the cost of the rules and regulations and guidance documents issued by agencies such as the USDA, EPA, Corps of Engineers, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, U.S. Forest Service, et cetera, et cetera. Yet of all of these agencies, all of them are totally unaccountable to the American people. I believe we need to strengthen the legislative branch, not weaken it, yet that is ultimately what will happen if we have term limits. I ran on a platform of empowering the people over the bureaucracy, which means that it is our legislative branch that needs to reclaim its rightful place of making the law. Term limits on Congress will not solve the problem that, you're that you have identified. Now more than ever, our congressional representatives need to stand strong, and requiring a routine cycling of elected officials seems to me to be a distraction from where the real issues in Washington, D.C. lie. While I am opposed to any kind of an amendment for term limits, I appreciate my colleague from South Carolina's focus on the need for reform in this broken town. The extent, to that extent, one area where I'm willing to meet my colleague in the middle to advance reform is in imposing term limits on bureaucrats that make up the administrative state. Those bureaucrats who are nearly impossible to remove and are encouraged to become career officials through benefits such as pensions are in DC for generations and have never been approved or voted on by the American people. This is the real danger to our society these officials make policies with no constituencies and cannot be held accountable if they do something which goes against the needs of the American people, which they routinely do. An example being the radical war on affordable energy being waged by the Biden bureaucracy. I also want to say that as a freshman class of a member, a freshman member of Congress, I think that it is, it is a problem to underestimate the importance of institutional knowledge. How can a member be here for six years and effectively take on a career official who has been here for 35 years? Is Washington, D.C. broken? Absolutely, and the odds are stacked against the American people in a government which has grown too powerful and big to control, and instead it now controls us. But it controls us because of the unelected bureaucrats, not because of your elected officials here in Washington, D.C., Reform is necessary and it should come from the people who are actually elected by the American people. The only directly elected officials in town should not become the, the target, it should be those who are unaccountable. This Congress needs to unify and hold accountable those officials who spend their entire lives in DC without taking a single vote, yet impose trillions of dollars of hidden taxes against us. I want to close by reiterating that term limits already exist through elections, but limiting ballot cho choices doesn't fix problems. It only creates more. And with that, I yield back.